Oh. Uh, Good morning. I'm John Floco. And I'm Marilyn Floco. We're going to do a daily devotion from a book that our pastor, Mike Lingenfelter, wrote on the book of Ephesians. Uh, today is titled, Where Prayer Should Begin. I'm going to read uh, from Ephesians 3, 14 through 15. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. Coming to the Lord in prayer is the most effective way to comprehend spiritual truth. To pray effectively, we must bow in humility, bow before the throne of our living God. Our position should be on our knees, with our heads bowed, or standing with humbleness and respect before God, before his throne. He is our creator, our God, Lord, King, and our Savior. We as Christians are no longer a slave to sin. We are slaves to Jesus, not the sin nature we were once slave to. Uh, when our body matches our heart, we can be certain our whole being is at that moment surrendered to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Our sin nature wants us to surrender to the sin, but if we show it, the sin nature, who our master is, our heart will obey and humble ourselves to Almighty God in awe and reverence. Uh, for the challenge, our sin nature wants us to believe that even as believers in Christ, we are still subject to its evil wants and desires. It yells at us. It quietly tries to convince us. It even argues with us. But when we show it who is master, it has no other choice but to obey. It may kick and scream at times like an infant, but it can be forced to come before the throne of God and obey the heart. Would you be willing to come before God in prayer with your heart bowed and your body obeying? Our posture does not determine whether or not God will hear, but it will show God what we think of being in his presence. Amen. We're going to say a prayer now and close out. We thank you for listening. Thank, thank you, Jesus, Jesus for, for allowing us to pray. pray. For giving us the strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.